welcome to my channel and most importantly my first ever youtube video y'all i am so so excited about this new journey that i am beginning today and i am just so proud of myself y'all like two hand claps for your girl so i just wanted to introduce myself my name is shante um, I am 32 and I am a registered nurse and this year has been great to your girl, okay? I have been on a serious weight loss journey and it has helped me go through like a life transition. Um, and i can honestly say that i am the happiest i have ever been in my adult life and i am just so grateful about two years ago i made a decision that i had to do something about my weight and i had to make sure that whatever i did i took it seriously and be something to not only help me lose the weight but also keep the weight off so in march of this year i had weight loss surgery and um yeah it was like i said it was a hard decision for me to come to but i can honestly say now that i am so so glad that i took the steps that i did and that i did it and because i have been so successful y'all i am almost six months post up and i've lost about 85 pounds so far and it feels great and i know a lot of people have opinions about weight loss surgery and they feel like when you have weight loss surgery it's taking the easy way out but y'all let me tell y'all it was not easy and just like anything else that you use to help lose weight, weight loss surgery is a tool. And if you use the tool correctly and you make the necessary changes, you will lose the weight and keep it off. Um, but it was not easy. The recovery from the surgery was rough. And, you know, learning new things. I had to fix my relationship with food. So that was number one. I had to um, learn a new lifestyle. Um, I had to learn how to grocery shop again and, you know, learn how to cook healthy meals for myself, how to meal prep, um, and just a lot of other things. I had to, I had to exercise regularly and I had to um, learn how to incorporate it into my lifestyle so that I can make it convenient for me and also um, learn because I never, I didn't exercise before. Um, I haven't done regular exercise since I was a teenager in high school and I, I played basketball in high school and that was like the most exercise that I got. So, you know, learning all of these things, it was hard. It was hard for me to, you know, change, but I had the mindset of I have to do this for myself um, and the other thing was I had to learn how to put myself first because I am one of those people where I'm the strong friend everybody leans on me and so and I, I, I don't mind it but I had to learn how to be selfish because I'm not a selfish person at all and I had to learn how to be selfish and how to put myself first and the things that I need first. So that was, um, it was a uh, definitely difficult for me. Um, but I started before I had surgery, I started on my lifestyle changes so that when it came to me having surgery, it wasn't as hard. I had already adopted some of the changes that I had to make. Um, and y'all, it has been such a transformation. Like I have transformed not just my physical body, but like mentally, spiritually, like I just feel like I've, I'm at a high vibration and I'm just so, so thankful for that. Um, so I 
wanted to start this YouTube channel to possibly encourage somebody to start their own healing journey, to start their own weight loss journey. Um, I'm not pushing people to have weight loss surgery because I know that's not um, a choice for people, some people. And I know that not everybody wants to have weight loss surgery. Um, and I understand that. I get that 100%. Like I said, it was a difficult decision for me to make. And I'm a registered nurse and I knew about the surgery before, but it was still hard. Um, I still, you know, took my time, thought about it, you know, and ultimately came up with what's best for me. Um, so I know that's not an option for everybody, but I can still show you, like, I'm a busy person. I work 12-hour shifts. Um, I can still show you how I incorporate exercise and um, different things. I work out five days a week. And it could be difficult for me to fit those in, but I do it. I do it. I make sure I make it a priority for me. I make sure that I'm cooking um, the bulk of my meals at home. I'm not saying that I'm 100% perfect. I eat healthy every single day. No, it's not realistic. And my doctor knows that. I know that. Um, but I would say 90% of the time I eat healthy. I make sure that I cook my meals at home. I know what's in them and that I'm eating things um, that aid me in my weight loss goals. So, um, yeah, I really want to inspire somebody and show somebody that they can do it too. So, you know, I'm doing a lot of days, a day in my life vlogs and stuff, showing you guys my routines, you know, showing how I um, grocery shop and just things like that. I'm also going to be just showing y'all fun and relaxed stuff. Me hanging with my girls. Hanging with my niece and my nephews. Um, I'm also going to be showing you guys some interior design things. Because I bought a brand new house in 2020. And I have been decorating room by room so right now i'm getting ready to start on the shante ways office y'all and i am so excited so i definitely want to show you guys the transformation and the process um and i have one more piece of exciting news y'all i will be starting a podcast as well and it will be named shante's way just like my youtube channel and I am so, so, so excited about it, y'all. The podcast will launch on October 3rd, 2022. October is my month, honey, okay? Because my birthday is in October. And I just was like, <laughs> what better month than my birthday month? So I'm so, so excited about that. Um, So... Yeah, the podcast will contain, you know, a lot of the life transformation stuff. Um, I'll be talking to my friends. You guys will be able to meet them. We'll be talking about Black women and mental health. Um, I will be telling you guys um, all the details of my weight loss surgery, what surgery I had, how did I make that decision? I will tell you who my doctor was and all of that. And just my experience in general. Um, we'll be talking about all things workouts, okay? Because that's essential. We need to talk about workout clothes, leggings, bras, all the things that are essential to women and working out, y'all. Because, you know, I'll be talking about family um, and I will be sharing a story with y'all about, um, a heartbreak that I experienced that really changed my life. It was, yeah, it was very significant in my life. It changed my life. And I'm going to tell y'all the story of what happened and I'm going to spill a little bit of tea, honey, for y'all. So make sure you stay tuned for that. We'll be talking about healing. 
we gonna be talking about dating because your girl is single and I'm 100% ready to mingle, okay? Um, we will be talking about manifesting your best life, y'all, because I really feel like the way you speak to yourself, the way you speak about yourself and your life matters. And so we really need to talk about manifestation and just manifesting a wonderful life, the life that you want for you. Like, you got to do it, sis. It's your time. And so, yeah, I'm so excited for this, y'all. So make sure that you put that on your calendar. Please like comment down below ask me any questions that you want answered about the surgery about my transformation anything that you want to know just ask down below even if it's just a personal question about me you can ask it down below and i'll be sure i answer it the podcast will be streamed on all major platforms and it also the videos will be dropping here on youtube as well so I'm so excited. So make sure y'all subscribe so y'all can watch or stream the podcast. Or you could do both if you really want to support your girl. I actually um, had thought about possibly documenting my journey. So I did record three videos during my surgery journey. Um, and I am going to play those videos for y'all. If you've gotten this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the video. If you have a question or just a comment, please leave it down below. And now we're gonna roll the footage. Hey guys, so I'm actually, it is, I believe it's like 421. It is March 23rd, 2022, and I'm just coming up on here to pop in. I made the decision to have um, weight loss surgery, and today is the day. I'm up, I've showered, and I'm on my way. So, just wanted to document this. So I can go back and like look at myself and yeah I am nervous as hell I'm not even gonna lie um yeah but we're getting ready to leave and um head to the hospital so I'll see you guys when we get there hey y'all so sorry <coughs> back so late but I'm um, actually in the hospital right now, in my hospital room. Um, I've been in a lot of pain today. Like that gas pain ain't no joke. I actually just came back from walking. Because um, the walking really does help. Um, So I just came back from walking and about to lay down. I'm not really sleepy because I kind of been sleeping on and off all day. So yeah. So I'm just probably gonna lay here and watch some TikToks on YouTube until I walk again. And I will update you guys tomorrow on I'm doing, oh, by the way, the surgery went well. There was no complications. Everything went great, so I'm very happy about that. And uh, like I said, I'll update you guys tomorrow on how I'm doing. Um, all right, bye. Hey guys, so it's actually been a while, okay? Don't hate me. Um, it's on my my hair. It's been a real week. Um, but yeah, like I said, like I just said, um, it's actually been a week since I had my surgery. And I've been at home and I've been um, recovering. I spent one 
night in the hospital. Um, and I got discharged the next day, probably around around three o'clock or so. And um, yes, yeah, so I came home. Um, so yeah, I am on a full liquid diet right now. So um, with that, like I can have broth, I can have soups, cream based soups. It just has to be strained. Like I can't have any like of meat or like vegetables that's in the soup. Like I can't have any of that, but I can have the base basically. Um, yesterday was probably like the roughest day I've had um, because I am so tired of being on liquids and it's exhausting because it's like, you know, you wanna eat, um, but today, I actually went today for my um, post-op appointment. Today was my first post-op appointment. I saw the nurse practitioner, and I have a loss 21 pounds. Like, that's so crazy. But, yeah, so I've lost 21 pounds. Um, she looked at my incisions, and she said everything was good. I am still having pain in one of my incisions on the right side. And, um, yeah, it's pretty, it's not severe enough where I feel like I need to take the pain medicine, but it's there. I feel it. And I also have numbness, like, around that same incision, probably from, like, like, halfway into my belly button and over. A little bit past the incision yes all that is i can feel it but it's 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 numb yeah and she said that was normal i'm only seven days post-op and she says as i heal it'll the feeling will come back and the pain will go away so i haven't been doing much you know i'm just in the house chilling sipping on my liquids um i'm trying to each day, I'm increasing my liquid intake. Um, so, yeah. She told me today that I can, as long as my stomach stomach tolerates, I can do cream-based soup. So, I went to the store today after my appointment, and I got some broccoli cheddar soup from Panera. And then I also got some lobster bisque soup. Um, by Panera, but it was from the grocery from the grocery store, and I actually had some of the lobster bisque for um, lunch today in my pouch. My stomach, my new stomach, tolerated it very fine. I only had four ounces of the soup. I measured it before I even heated it up, and I only heated up that amount, and that's what I ate. And y'all, it was so satisfying to like actually, even though it's it was still like liquid, it's it has a lot more flavor than chicken broth. Then I've been doing basically I've been doing broth and jello, pudding, yogurt, like things like that. So it was just satisfying to have something savory and not necessarily sweet. Not saying that the chicken broth is not sweet, but it's not very flavorful either. <laughs> so yeah, so I had some of that and I just put some protein powder in it just to give it some protein, some more protein. But yeah, that was so satisfying. And uh, I have the broccoli cheddar. I have a colander, calendar colander but um my mom was like it was a hard to strain the I had some cream of chicken soup and she had a hard time straining that so I need like probably a smaller like one of those wire strainers so I'll probably go out to pop shelf and get one tomorrow um, other than that, exercise-wise, I can't really do much because I'm only a week out, so I can walk. So that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to do a 30-minute walk every, I, well, I have been doing 
a 30 minute walk every day um and just to get my exercise in and she told me today that I can do like some upper body kind of strength so I think I'm gonna get some resistance bands or some like weights to help with that but yeah you know it's going I have a hope I have another week before I'll be on my puree stage so I can do it I just gotta keep going the soup really helps now it has something that like has some flavor to it and it's just not broth you know but yeah um I'm actually um gonna wind it down for tonight and um I'm gonna go to bed oh yeah I will see you all in the next video <laughs>